Hey guys, so we're back. It's here, Stella's Tether, and I'm going to do my postpartum update. I'm two months postpartum from this baby girl. Can't believe she's here and how big she's getting. If you want to see her update, go check it out. I'm sure it's up right before this one. I am doing great as far as everything goes. I mean, as far as like healing and stuff, everything is doing a lot better. I'll show you my belly. I know you guys are curious. I have asked about the belly band. I used the Medela belly band after postpartum, probably just about a month. I didn't um, wear it for too long. Um, you can wear it for as long as you want to. It just got to where I was wearing it all the time and then I just got uncomfortable with it and I was just like, I'm not worried about it anymore. So I stopped wearing it. Um, and so I'll show you my belly now. Um, but trying to work out again. I love to work out. I love to go to the gym. It's just harder to get to the gym with these two girlies. So, but I'm trying my best to get there and I'm going to try to be, to get going more so now. And my weight now, I think I'm about 117. I got 115 last time, like my pre-pregnancy weight. But, I mean, 117 isn't that bad. Um, I've stopped breastfeeding now, so that has not helped as much, you know, as it was. Because um, breastfeeding, you burn calories and stuff while you're doing that. But now that I've stopped that, because I had to with um, working, like being really busy all the time, Christmas time around, there's just no way I could breastfeed anymore. It's just getting too crazy busy. And so we had to stop. I hated it, but that's what we had to do. So we had to transition her into the formula. And yeah, I talked more about that in her video. She goes, when, I mean, breastfeeding was going great. I did really good with it. She did great. It was just getting to that time where I was just getting too busy. Like when you're busy from 10 to 7 some days and you're just like so busy, there's no time to stop to pump and stuff. And I was already like, the days I was going to the salon and my grandma was keeping them and I was missing like one feeding, I was already kind of decreasing my milk supply. So I was already transitioning a little bit as far as that goes. And so when I did stop, what I did, what I think it, it really hurt for about three days. Um, if you go back and see my daily vlogs, I talked about it through that. But also just when you stop, you know, your milk is still trying to come through. But you're trying to get this stop. So um, I started to, you want to do that. Like start out just missing one feeding here or there. Um, and then, so it kind of, it's like, okay, I need to slow down a little bit. And then after that, I pump just in the morning and at night um, a little bit. Like five minutes or so. Just enough to relieve it a little bit. And then I use the cold compressants on my boobs. Like I had, um, I had them to do, when I was breastfeeding like because at the beginning you get engorged like that so I would use those then and then also when I was stopping I used those or they say you can use like cold lettuce or whatever I didn't go do that because I had the other pads that I used I just got them from Target like the purple pads um, with like the little beads in them so I used those and it's pretty much all I did and then after about a few more days she's getting tired after three or four days it finally slowed down and just eventually it stopped it wasn't that bad with Kinsley I actually had a problem with my right one I had to go to the doctor a few times and they had to give me medicine it finally got better I think it was called I had a clawed duck or whatever so I was scared that would happen again so I was really scared to stop this time but it finally stopped and so it got a lot better uh, yeah, but while I was breastfeeding, when she was seven weeks old, when we were seven weeks into breastfeeding, all right, guys, so I got Claire laid down for a little bit so I can finish my video for you guys. When she was about seven weeks, I had a blister on my right side. It was called a milk blister. I went to the doctor and they said it was fun um, just to finish laying her eat on that side. That hurt really, really, really bad. So I don't know if any of you guys have had one of those or if you do. Just know that you can work through it and it'll get better, but it really hurt, like, really bad for at least a day or two. But thankfully I worked through that and then it was over. I don't know why that even, why it even happened, but it just happens sometimes, I guess. So I had asked some of my friends at breast said if they had it and some said that they had one. Some said they never did have one. So working is going good. Um, I've been back at work now. I still, I can't believe, and I'm so proud of myself that I went back to work after being out for a month. 
And then that whole next month, I worked and breastfed Claire, which I think is crazy of me sometimes. When I think about it, I'm just like, how in the world did I do that? But I did. I worked around my schedule and I fed Claire when I had a break. Even sometimes I had the girls color on under the dry and I fed Claire real quick. And yeah, I just I just did it like it was no big deal. And I wanted to do that even longer, but then it just got like real, real busy at the salon. So I wasn't able to do that. But if we do have another baby, I may have to do that again. And so we'll see. But I mean, other than that, I mean, work in now is going really good. And the girls stay with our grandma while I work. And yeah, it goes great. Other than I do bring Claire with me in the morning sometimes while they're at preschool if I have a client or something. But other than that, I just will stay at home with her if I can. Or I'll, or of course I'm at the salon with her. My grandma can be here. So my other thing would be to talk about like birth control, um, just taking a pill for now. And, um, and I haven't actually started it yet. Y'all may think I'm crazy. But aren't you, I think you're supposed to wait until you have a period. I haven't had one since I had Claire. I think it was because of the breastfeeding. But I figured that it'll start here soon. And then I'll start on it or whatever. But I want to call and switch. They had me on one kind since I was breastfeeding. But I want to switch back to the one that you take. I think it's called Seasoning. You take it every three months you have a period. You take it until third month and then you have period. That's what I took before um, and I really liked it a lot. So other than that, everything's going great. I'll show you all my belly now. I'll be able to work out more now. But after the holiday season, I can get back to working out more before the summer rolls around again. Because I feel like I have a lot of work to do before the summer gets here again. It's crazy how much your body can change like from, I was like working out like crazy and did really good and got my body in great shape. And then uh, obviously I go through the pregnancy and now it's like I have to start all over again which I would do it over and over and over again to have a, another Kinsley and Claire but it's just it is a lot of work and you just have to do it but you feel so great afterwards you feel amazing working out I mean you just gotta do it you just feel so good like I feel great when I'm working out so I just wish that I could have more babysitters that could watch the girl while I worked out because it's hard to find babysitters when you want to go work out since well when I went with Kinsley blah 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 I'm talking way too much when I went with Kinsley though the gym I went to had a daycare but now um this one doesn't have daycare so it's harder to get to but I'm doing more stuff at home if I have to if I see that I can't get to the gym I'm going to be figuring out stuff to do at home and I'll let you guys know what I'm doing then okay I'm going to show you my belly now here's with my shirt on And this is what it's looking like now. And I still have some work to do. It's still like a little, like I would like to have my abs back, which I'm working on. I used to have some really good abs in there. And like, of course, this part is always the hardest part to work on. So, um, that's what we're looking at now. Alright guys, so thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like. Check out our daily vlogs. Check out SalSouther.com. Um, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that kind of stuff to keep in touch with you guys. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!